The story starts in Seymour where this, the Bark Bus pulls up. And somehow the bus and all these exotic cars are now on the same road. All coming together for the, the good of the dogs. It's a collaboration between the Hometown Foundation, Dog Star Rescue, and ACI Dynamics, which is a one-stop everything automotive shop. They're revving up for the weekend. This Saturday's event is called Puppies and Horsepower. What's up guys, Tyler from ACI back with another video. So today guys, we have the Puppies and Horsepower event at the Farmington Polo Grounds. You guys saw it on the news. You guys saw the little tweet teaser video we put together. And first off, before anything starts, I just wanna give a huge shout out to one of our clients, Jason. Jason, if you're watching this, I appreciate you. He allowed us to take one of his cars to the show, which I have right here, which is a 2023 Huracan Evo. We're gonna be bringing this to the show along with a bunch of other cars as well. So naturally, we have to get a cold start for you guys, but a few things we're doing to this car while we have it in our possession. Uh, we are doing a full Rift Race exhaust, and then we're also fixing some of the PPF that was done previously, because uh, he did get this one used. And then, later in the month, we'll be doing a VF Engineering Supercharger on this thing, which is gonna wake this thing up. 850 horsepower, I cannot wait to get this installed for Jason. It's gonna be awesome. Let's get a cold start and let's go see what cars we have at the show today. And of course, if you're there and you're looking to adopt a dog, I hope you do. stock especially when the valves are open but for some reason with these new Lambos the valves stay closed until like 5,000 rpm so it's an issue because then all you want to do is stay above like 5,000 rpm but it gets really really annoying because if you just want to like cruise with the car and have the valves open I don't know it's just it's just super annoying so with the rift system that we'll be putting on this car it's gonna fix that we'll have no more valves and you'll just be able to hear this beautiful v10 all the time let's get this car washed and let's get over to the show now we're gonna wash the m2 i don't know if my fiance is gonna bring it or not but i'm gonna wash it anyways just in case uh so let's get a cold start on that even though i already pulled it out but it might still be a cold start turn it off fast so let's see Good morning, guys. We are heading up to the Polo Grounds today for the um, Dog Star Car Show. Um, I'm going to have the cars pulling out of the garage this morning. So I just want to do a cold start. I know Tyler's filming at his house. He's not down here with us. He's not rolling from here. We're going to roll from the gas station with Mike and his Supra, John and his BMW, I think Tommy and his Volkswagen. But uh, we'll flip the camera around here and then we'll get a cold start for you guys. So good morning and uh, let's get the day started. All right, so we're going to be taking the event door again today. Um, we have the NSX up there, which we haven't taken. We do have a couple other cars hidden in the garage over here, but we'll do a garage tour another day. That's that's for another day. So let's get in, let's get a cold start, and let's get on the road. All right. Let's fire up a cold start. Look, we still have stuff in from last weekend from Boston. But we'll fire up a cold start here. loud in the garage. Let's get it outside. All right, so she's back out again on the road after last weekend. Matching kicks as always. And we are gonna head over and meet up with Tyler. Um, Tyler, and he'll be at the Polo Grounds and then Mike and the guys at the gas station. So let's get rolling. All right, so we're up at the meet spot here, meeting up. 
forever needing gas every time I come. The story of driving this car, fill it. We got Tommy over here, Tommy Torch, he's here this morning. He was the first one to arrive. Morning, Tommy. What's up? So he's ready to go in the Golf R. Filling up this, gonna run inside, get some snacks, and then Mike should be here. And I believe he's coming down with Joe with his trailer. And I think he has a old Formula One car in there and the R8, I believe, today too. So we'll see what he has uh, when they get down here. There's Mike. He probably needs gas too, Tommy, I bet. What do you think? Is he gonna get gas? Is he gonna get gas? We'll see. Yeah, of course he's getting gas. He didn't fill up last. There's no way you filled up last night. You got gas last night? Where's John? John didn't make it? No, John's probably sleeping or working out or taking a sauna bath. <laughs> Where's Joe? Joe just got on the highway. He told him just go, just we'll catch up to him anyway. All right, guys, heading out to the show. Now, something ironic about what I'm wearing the McLaren hoodie. First off, you never wear the same merch of the car that you're driving. Second off, the owner of this Lamborghini had a 750S. It's the one we did at the shop. If you guys saw that video, you'll remember it. Uh, we did downpipes, full body PPF. It was a black one. Uh, if you want to go back to it, check it out. Really cool car. He had so many issues with that car because it's a McLaren. So it's just ironic that he sold that back to get a Lamborghini. We got the McLaren hoodie on driving a Lamborghini. Let's get to the show. So we just got on the highway. Joe texted us that a car caught on fire. So we're already in traffic. Let's check it out, see what we got burning over here. See some smoke over here in front of us. State Trooper just passed us, so at least we know we're not gonna get pulled over for this portion of the ride. Well, let's see what we got cooking over here. Got the state trooper over here. Oh yeah, she's burning. It's definitely fully on fire. Look at the state trooper over here. And the car is definitely burning. We got more stuff coming over here on this side. But yeah, no, it's certainly on fire. Oh yeah. That. And on we go. As we are right down the road from the polo grounds, uh, we're here early, of course, so we're not going to see many cars when we pull in because uh, we're here to help out because uh, we're one of the big parts of the show here today. But uh, we should be arriving shortly. Uh, when we get in, uh, we got to wait for Mike and the guys to get here. Mike, Bryce, uh, I know Jay Drifts is coming down, uh, so we got to wait for them to get here. But we're pulling in. Let's go see what's going on. Day drifts, <laughs> baby. Back at it. We are back. Yo, at and it. you want to know something ironic? I was saying on the camera before. The McLaren hoodie, bro. And what happened to the? Oh center? wow! Look at that. Oh, well, I was talking about our client Jason uh, with the. Hur that's his Huracan. Uh huh. And he made uh, made them buy his McLaren back because it sucks so much. And then he bought the Huracan. Yeah. So I just thought it was ironic. We're, I think we're blocking people. But I thought it was ironic wearing it. And now the Senna's been stuck at the shop for two weeks, right? Yeah. He'll be back. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> The other boys are rolling it's up. It's raining again. Dude, no way. it's literally raining again. Four for four. <laughs> four for four. You'll see the blue Huracan just parked next to it. Great. <laughs> Mike? Did you bring your raincoat today? Dude, this is crazy. <laughs> I know, it's nuts. Tommy, you made it, bro. I made it, bro. You made it. We didn't so, get pulled over this time. Oh, that's good. That's good. Follow them, bro. J Drift trailer lined up. We got to get this open. Uh, we got two cars in here, and then there's some cars rolling in. We got a few Ford GTs. We actually filmed these at Roger's house uh, last Dream Ride. Uh, all three of those Ford GTs were there, so that's pretty cool to see those again. Um, and people are already lining up over here. Hopefully the rain passes soon, because that's what we're dealing with right now. But 
but at least we got some Ford GTs coming in and some other cool cars. We got a vet behind it, we got an Aston Martin, and then a Lamborghini. And more coming in behind it. The Diablo is so fire. Everything's for sale, bro. Some tours and car collections. Bro, open the trailer. I will, I will. Let's see what you got. Let's see if that guy wants to sell that car. Is that a blue one or a black one? It looks like dark blue. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna try to buy that today. I think I'm just gonna keep my McLaren straight pipe right out the back. A big stack No, those back. look really cool. FI actually makes a yeah. system that comes no, right I'm out. My own. Oh, look at the <laughs> one with the orange. That still looks good. Dude, I'm surprised that car's not at the dealership. No. I mean, mine's about to live for four years. <laughs> yeah. Rolling in another four G, two more four GTs actually. And then a Shelby, looks like a kit car on that Shelby. And everyone's lining up. And the dogs are getting here as well. Dodge uh, rolling in. Looks awesome. And it looks like the typical white on white. Uh, just like from the Wolf of Wall Street. Opening up the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> what, do we, what do we got here, bro? Give us a little story on this. No, because um, 2005, I don't even know if they have it for now, but they didn't. They were leasing motors back then. Oh, they still do it. That's right. They do? Yes. So when you buy the car, they have so many per, per season, per race, and then you get penalized if you have to put one in. But so like Honda gives, HPD gives IndyCar so many engines, and the same thing for Chevy. And there's none in when they take them out at the end of the year. And you don't have one in there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no motor in there. That's ridiculous. And we got the R8, bro. Because like the motors only you only swap them so many times throughout the season. So yeah, you do. Because you never you know what you never PPF'd it, so that's your problem. I didn't think I was gonna keep it to be honest with you. Really? Yeah. Open the back too. Come on. No days off over here. Yeah, no days off. Unstrap the R8, let's get the thing out here. <laughs> Start that thing up, bro. Yo, it's so. Yo, loud. You should let me put this in the waiting room for a little while at the shop, dude. That would be cool, actually. It's going to Lime Rock next week. It's going to Lime Rock oh. next week. He doesn't even have a motor. Don't you have a GTR in there? Carbon fiber one? Yeah, but I take that out any time. I give it to you. Gonna wave my bill? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saving that up. It's rolling up. Yeah, bro, look uh, at this thing, look huh? Look at this thing, look. My car's probably built, dude. Yeah. Right where it nice. You see it? <laughs> I got aluminum foil pipes now. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> it stopped. We're good. Watch yourself. Tommy. What's up? Which one's your favorite here, bro, so far? Black one. The black 4GT, dude. So many 4GTs came. It's crazy. I think the Diablo is sick. Diablo is sick, and then you got the Wolf of Wall Street spec yeah. down there. The yeah, the Countach, bro. The white on white. You like that? Yeah. yeah <laughs> it is fire. It is fire. We got more cars rolling in, uh, so we'll keep checking in and seeing what comes in. Yo, I'm surprised you're taking this thing out, bro. Bro, I got fireworks, bro. We got fireworks. <laughs> he's whispering, but he doesn't realize he's gonna be on YouTube later, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, fireworks. I, I stopped in Pennsylvania to drop one. Snakes and sparklers. <laughs> Snakes and sparklers. Yeah. Snakes and sparklers. Yeah. Sparklers. yeah, it's the it's the uh, grocery store specials that yeah. only shoot five yeah. feet high. Yeah. Right, Joe? What? Just the sparklers. Sparklers. 
sparklers. I start, I really stopped in uh Dude, I'm really surprised you're taking this off the trailer. Yeah. It doesn't run. I think by myself. Good thing, good thing you got that wench that Martin put in. Yeah. It took about a week to install. Yeah. <laughs> Two weeks. <laughs> Two weeks. You, bro. I used to drive one. No. No. Liar. I would drive that. Yeah? Yeah. Is, Is that your next diesel? pick though? Is it diesel? <laughs> it might be, bro. I'd drive it. <laughs> I, like it. I like the old Benzes that don't have power steering, so then you, you feel like you're driving like that. <laughs> like Granny Smith, you know, driving that thing. Yeah. You know, driving that. It's like driving my truck. You know? <laughs> Challenge. It's a, little, it's a little soggy. It's a little soggy. Texture. I can, I can already tell it's not gonna be a nine. It's, it's not gonna be an eight. Look at. It's definitely. It doesn't have you the crisp on it, on but that. you know how it goes. No. Sorry. Fuck. It's cold. Five point five. Five point five. Five point five from Bryce. 5.5. <laughs> We're about halfway through the show. Really good turnout today. So many cars here, so many dogs. But uh, yeah, still cars rolling in, so we'll still go through, show you guys the cars that we got here today. And of course, all the dogs that are here as well. Uh, so let's keep seeing what we got.
Alright guys, Tyler, That's we're wrapping up Puppies and Horsepower. Yeah. Uh, great day. Uh, it actually rained on the way here. This is funny. Well, we'll do a little bit. It rained on the way here. We got an awesome window, had a yep. great car show. Um, I would say we probably had over 100, 150 cars. Oh, I mean, yeah, spectators, sure. uh, probably Ooh. double that. Yep. Um, so everything really went well. Um, and, you know, Joe came up from Long Island. He did. Race cars in his car, so shout out to him, thank you. Yep. Hometown, awesome. Um, and it's time to leave, and ironically, it's starting to rain it once is. again. It so. is, it is. And you we got the Aventador out. There's that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there's that. So, but anyway, awesome day. Yeah, it was great. Sure. It was yeah. really good. It was really good. <laughs> the shop. Later. Well guys, super fun day here at the Polo Grounds with the Puppies and Horsepower event. Thank you to everyone who came out. It was a great time. Thank you to Dog Star Rescue, the Hometown Foundation, and everyone that was involved in this. It was a great event, and we'll see you guys back at the shop.